In a world first, this AI-powered humanoid robot flew using jet power. It's likely not the last. As investors pour billions into developing bipedal, general-purpose robots for the masses, flying humanoids are the next logical step. The concept is within reach now thanks to big breakthroughs in lightweight propulsion, real-time AI control, advanced materials, and multimodal locomotion. Just like drones evolved from military tools to everyday tech, aerial humanoids are poised to evolve from lab experiments to real-world helpers. This robot, named Iron Cub 3, has four jet engines. Two on its arms and two on its back. The Italian Institute of Technology in Genoa built the robot, with help from Milan Polytechnic and Stanford. Standing about 125 centimeters, or just over 4 feet, the humanoid robot is built to withstand exhaust blasts as hot as 800 degrees Celsius. It has a titanium spine for strength and protection, and its four jet engines can generate a combined thrust of over 1,000 newtons. It's shown here flying 50 centimeters, or about a foot and a half, off the ground during its first flight tests. The robot's AI is trained on wind tunnel tests and simulations to understand airflow and body movement. The researchers plan to test the 70-kilo robot in a larger, safer space at Genoa Airport to fly higher and longer. Their long-term goal is to develop a humanoid robot that can search disaster zones for survivors, inspect hard-to-reach places, and explore extreme environments. The Institute initiated the Iron Cup project back in 2021, leveraging the existing iCub platform originally built between 2004 and 2008. Funded by the Robot Cub Consortium, the open source humanoid robot was developed as a testbed to study embodied cognition through crawling, object manipulation, and social interaction. Italy can also host the latest generation robot unique in its kind, while its ancestors were programmed to perform certain actions. He instead learns from his own mistakes. It boasts more than 50 degrees of freedom across its limbs, hands, torso, neck, and head. It's equipped with sensors for vision, inertial measurements, force torque, tactile skin, and more. Tendon-driven joints with harmonic drives and brushless motors power dexterous movements. The humanoid robot appeared on Italy's Got Talent in 2016. During the show, the robot that would later evolve into a jet-powered flying humanoid showcased its dexterity, speech capabilities, and expressive gestures. The platform has been adopted by more than 20 labs globally. I'm happy to be here. The IIT team maintains a digital replica of Iron Cub using PTC Creo. They refine its mechanical layout after each flight test to optimize thrust lines, structural strength, and thermal protection. A semi-automatic process creates a URDF file, a blueprint that includes detailed data about the robot's mass, joint movement, balance points, and motor limits. They run airflow simulations using the ANSYS Fluent Computational Fluid Dynamics tool to figure out how the hardware interacts with air. They use that as a basis for a simpler model that's used to optimize the robot's flight control system. The flying humanoid concept is gaining traction worldwide. In Japan, researchers from the University of Tokyo unveiled a small flying humanoid robot in 2023 that could walk, roll, hover in the air, and even grab things mid-flight. They outfitted a toy-grade Kondo KHRW robot, which has 20 joints and is roughly the size of a small doll with three ducted fan motors. The fans pushed air downward, lifting the humanoid off the ground. A clutch on its back lets the robot switch between walking, rolling, and flying. During hover tests, it stayed within a few centimeters of target positions and angles enough to float steadily and even perform simple tasks. In one demo, the robot reached out with its arms and struck an object onto a wall. Researchers in China have also explored teaching humanoid robots to fly. 
A team from Guangdong University of Technology started developing the Jet HR2 robot in 2019 for search and rescue mission. They equipped the robot with 10 brushless motor joints and harmonic drives for walking and balancing. They mounted four ducted fan thrusters on its waist and embedded in the feet to propel it upward. The robot redirects fan thrust to stay balanced during flight by tilting its feet. During testing, the robot's fans generated a total thrust of around 20 kilograms. The 17-kilo robot achieved a vertical hover over one meter and maintained its posture without excessive spinning. Another Chinese humanoid robot is being developed with free-flying capabilities to assist astronauts inside space stations. Plans call for the solar-powered AI robot named Taikobot to one day join the crew aboard China's Tiangong space station. It's built to move and work in zero gravity for tasks like tool delivery, inspections, and light maintenance. Standing about 171 centimeters or 5 feet 7 inches, the robot weighs just 25 kilograms. Its small electric thrusters power its unique flight park motion system. It pushes itself forward after grabbing a handrail or surface. It then floats through the air, making small corrections as needed. It slows down and docks at the next location by grabbing onto something again. Developed by the Harbin Institute of Technology, the robot is China's answer to NASA's Robonaut. The second-generation version of Robonaut became the first humanoid robot to go to space in 2011. Robonaut 2 was tested aboard the International Space Station, assisting with tasks while mounted to a fixed base. Japan's pint-sized humanoid Kurobo followed in 2013, becoming the first robot to talk with an astronaut in space. And Russia sent a robot named Fedor for docking testing in 2019. Meanwhile, Elon Musk says Tesla Optimus humanoid robots will travel to Mars aboard a SpaceX Starship for a mission planned for 2026. He suggested if the mission succeeds, human landings might follow in the late 2020s and early 2030s. Tesla aims to manufacture at least 5,000 of its much-anticipated humanoids by the end of 2025 and scale production throughout 2026. A recent breakthrough unlocked the ability for the Tesla bot to learn complex tasks directly from internet videos of humans performing them, initially from first-person perspectives. This means a single AI robot brain can control many different tasks without needing people to manually teach them each step. For more on that, check the related video.